a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from the top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a soft. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. I don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like so. The soft still got his first gun. Where were we? We were talking about a song. Yeah. So I what? never understood the appeal Fraser, of people like have company ahead. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. So Parashurama. 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 Right. Who is he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu, a fearsome warrior. Right. Still wrapping my head around it all. Going, going. Let's get inside. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Oh, sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even the mighty Indian army will tremble. I can't wait. It's Fraser! That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted the others. Ah, can't be helped. Hey, on the mountain! Here come the others. You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. It's over. Okay. We're all clear. I see the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. Would have preferred a head start over a song. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. What is it? A shrine? Don't think so. Don't see any deities hanging about. Let's find a way up. Now, 
Oh shit! Guess this can wait. Not so tough, eh? That's it. The site is secure. Yes, it is. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. Perfect. That should do it. Tight. Oh, stand. Stand tight. Copy that. Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. <sighs> oh, there you are. Huh? Having fun. <sighs> Impressive. Thanks. Come on. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient porcelain jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a bow. Sharama. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Treasure. Mm -hmm. mm. Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go... Digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort above the waterfalls might be worth a visit. And possibly that fort on that mountain. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good.
Ah, this is open now. So you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Right, you're the military expert. What's the sub strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a sub? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Watch it. Assistant buggers, still there. Risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Assault's not doing the same thing. Maybe an expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly then. Looks like we've got rebels ahead. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Ganesh, remover of obstacles. Is the gate secured? Not yet. Not back. Waiting on Cobra Just 8. Just keep this quiet as long as we can. Man down! Man down! Watch your spread out. Search the area. I'm hey! Found you!
there! Go check it out! Go check it out! That's it. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Yeah. That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it. Here's another one. Three down. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> now then, I'm guessing this one needs to look like a trident. Good guess. Turn the water on. Well, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <sighs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. Two out of three now. Marcel and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. We spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. 
So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's... pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname, either. It was my mum's. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him MREs. You're no fun. Fraser, incoming reinforcements. Figures. We shall see. Hello, brothers. Where are you? You see? Do a sweep. Ross and Fraser might still be here. Come out. Show yourself. We know you are here! Jungle combat scenario. I mean, serious. Just the one by the mountain. Indeed. Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wave it in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh, yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the first, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here our thought we just going on a treasure hunt. We are? Let men like Asab fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asab? Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Oh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first.
sobs boards are still hanging about. Oh, yeah, persistent little buggers. Sov's men might be around. Once more, with gusto. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Shiva. Who's the god of destruction? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. Definitely not. Oh. Okay. Have a sure, in reverse. You're welcome. In we go. Ah, Salah versus the tiger. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Okay? Slightly deaf, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. Let's let you move. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <sighs> oh shit! Let you move again. Look out!
I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols on them. Star. They're all boys in our side. I like this bitch better. Ah! Do you miss there? This isn't too bad. Let's make an axe. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. There'd be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. I was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. <coughs> Gotta love a shortcut. 
glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. If you want to look anywhere else out there, now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too right. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Just be done with Shoreline? I was born in Chicks. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this point. Sassy. What the hell? Now that's what I'm talking about. Can't say I was expecting that. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. Last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe 
it was a watchtower. But that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person, then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for them. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadoo?